Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Earlier tonight, there were price range updates and actually crashing, crashing prices on the market that we need to talk about happening right now, actually, still inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. All right, we have new price range updates and that caused a lot of market panic. I knew that when these price ranges were going to get updated, that something was going to happen and definitely market movements happen based off of people selling cards that maybe they invested in, trying to sell some of the price range updated cards. Some of the cards did well, really well after the update and some actually went down after the update. So we're gonna talk about all those different things today as well as some moves that you can actually make into today because it, we are now in early access time, boys. I think as I'm putting this video live, a little bit after uh, midnight, USA time so it's like early morning UK I think everybody in the entire world except for like maybe yeah I think everybody in the entire world will have early access available to them because my guys in Aussie land uh, in New Zealand and then even across into the UK you guys have actually been able to get on the full version of the game without your your access time I think for the past couple of hours because they rolled it out across the world uh, like when it hit midnight your time on Tuesday uh, that was actually your first chance to play and actually get on the game. It should have been unlocked around then. But regardless, I need to talk about these price ranges because, yes, the stuff that we saw with the, the early access starting to roll out maybe is affecting these prices a little bit as people are now opening more and more packs instead of having 10 hours to do so where they maybe played some games on EA Access. They're now opening more FIFA point packs. So that could cause some supply, but that's also going to bring some coin uh, just some supply of coins onto the game, which is going to cause some meta cards to rise. And tonight, I think we're looking at some very investable opportunities based on how these cards have reacted to the price range update. So let's look at a couple of these cards that got price range updates today, right? Timo Werner was extinct at 200k. He is up a nice cheeky 50,000 coins after the update. A lot of this stuff got updated, I think, at 11 p.m., 10 or 11 p.m. UK, close to midnight UK time uh, last night. On, on Tuesday night, basically, Monday night into Tuesday is when a lot of this stuff got upgraded. So Werner was one, a tail of the tape that did very well today. He was extinct at 200, went to 256. Rodrigo is 30K where I thought he would be. Martial's up towards 200 where I thought he would be. Jesus is still rising. Fred is up. Wijnaldum actually went extinct again. Uh, he was extinct at 42. Now he's extinct at 75. I think he goes to almost 100,000 coins. Adama is one that is just crazy to me. Uh, this guy was extinct, I think, at 15K. He might have been extinct at 17K. Oh, yeah, 15,000 coins he was extinct at. And now he's back up to 19K. So he has actually uh, overcame the supply on his card. But somebody who did not overcome the supply, uh, there's a couple examples of this today. Um, but one of the major ones, I think, was Mbabu. Now, right now, he's, he was extinct at 17,000 coins. He's 15K at the moment. So we actually got the price range update, and he actually dropped... Uh, today with the amount of supply, I guess, and just not being the Premier League card. I know he's really pacey. I thought he still might go up after the price range update, but he didn't. Uh, but regardless, a lot of prices on the market are dropping, just like I talked about earlier this week. I hate to point it out, boys, and say that I got it spot on, but I think we got it spot on with Richarlison. He was 49,000 coins this morning, and I knew that when Gabriel Jesus and the other Prem strikers got their price range updates, he was actually at 51K for a hot second. He has been dropping like a rock. He actually hit 37,000 coins back up to 39. I knew this car would drop though once Gabriel Jesus and the other Prem Strikers got their updates. And a lot of other cards across the market have actually dropped. And I'm getting very intrigued as possible investments here with some of these cards. Now, you might ask, why did a guy like Holland drop, right? He didn't have anything to do with an extinct card or anything like that. And honestly, man, he was 113,000 coins earlier today. I honestly think that with all the hype of the price range updates and with people getting on the full access of the game, opening more packs, that caused some of this market to crash. People kind of maybe panic sold per se, uh, some investments and um, maybe some cards that they wanted to get out because they knew it was Tuesday. Some people have been saying they thought there was going to be a crash in the market on Tuesday on, on the early access release. Like, look at here, man. This is Lamer. He's down to 5.4 thousand coins at the moment after being over 8,000 yesterday, dude. 8.9K, and this guy's down to 5.4, which is crazy. So I'm really looking at a lot of the really meta cards as a rebound potential. Now, some of them are still high, right? Gomez 110, Mendy 110, but some cards are down. 
some cards are down on the market right now, and I'm thinking about investing in some of them and kind of, you know, Lucas Hernandez was 23,000 coins this morning. He's now down to 17K. Regulon, I know Tellus transferred to the Prem today. Uh, he was at 15K. He's down to 10K. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else is down? Um, Hazard, I think, was 185. He's now 165. Nine Golan was like 28. He's 23. Some other cards I saw were down today. Inaki Williams is down. Zakaria is down. Um, there's just a lot of cards today. Coleman is down. Van de Beek is down. Again, that's a card a lot of people have invested in. He's down. Griezmann's 105K. This dude was 130,000 coins earlier today before the price range is updated. And like literally no price range updates affected Griezmann. I mean, a couple of them did, I guess, because they were French strikers. But Griezmann's still being like 110,000 coins. 110 at the moment. Uh, after being 130, like literally, if we think about it, man, let's let's think about it from a perspective of what is going to make these cards continue to go down in price. And for meta cards like this, that people are just really trying to get into their teams right now, I really don't see any way, shape, or form where these cards uh, continue to go down because we're getting more coins added to the market. And yes, you could say some cards might get packed a little bit more, but what I'm really trying to look at here with some of these meta cards is I think they have to rise back up to where they were because all the new people that are getting on the game are going to be making coins and they're going to be wanting to buy players in the next couple of days with their, with their division rivals, placement matches being played, their coin boost they're gonna be getting from those, those matches. And I really think that that is going to actually drive the market up. I really think that's going to push the market up, man. I'm going to take this Coutinho at 12K. Just kidding. Um, on meta cards that are not super low rated that, you know, a lot of people are wanting for their teams. I think tonight is a decent time to buy because I don't think the supply is going to overcome the demand for these cards in the next couple of days. Obviously, be careful with, with some cards that are pretty low rated, you know, 83 or lower. I'd be very careful with. Uh, but if it's a card that has risen in the past couple days, I think that even from Tuesday until Thursday, with Thursday Division Rivals Rewards, I think we'll see a pickup on the market there as well. And I think this could be a really short-term, a nice little short-term window to do a, a couple of quick flips in. So I'm really starting to look at the market and some of these cards. And it, w which cards do you actually want to invest in, right? Take a look at this most popular page on Flipin. Scroll through it. Now, some of these prices probably are starting to actually rise as you guys are watching this video. Um, because we're getting into the morning time. The only thing that I could say or could see happening is early morning UK. A lot of these prices have gone down, right? We went from 45,000 coins on Lotaro down to 34. He's still 34 at the moment. But what I could see happening is people that get are getting on the full game for the first time because the game is out now everywhere. Uh, but it came out at like midnight UK time when not a lot of people are actually awake. So what I could see is a little bit of supply in the morning, earlier UK time. Maybe some people are getting on opening packs and not as many people are buying yet. And then after that, you will see, I think, an increased rebound. And these cards will jump right back up to where they were as people get coins again, as people complete placement matches and stuff like that. So if there's cards that you want to invest in, if you want to try to do a, a quick little flip with some of these, be my guest, man. Just make sure you're buying meta and make sure... Uh, that you were buying cards that rose a lot last week when all the prices went up to begin with. Like that's a great way to, uh, one of the things that I always say on this game is if it rose once, it can rise again. Because if it rose once, that means that there was demand for it. And especially since we're in the first freaking week of the game still, it can definitely rise again because there's still going to be new players that are coming onto this game today. Uh, they're going to be starting their ultimate teams from scratch and buying some of these players by using FIFA point packs and stuff like that. And also doing SBCs and getting their placement match coins. So uh, I know, give me that Fakir. Dang, man, somebody's got the Fakir market on lockdown at 12K and I'm trying to get involved. Get him? Oh, dude, I added my transfer targets. Yes, there we go. I finally got a Fakir at 12K. This guy was 20K last night, man. I think I actually might have the card on my transfer list that I sold Fakir for 20K last night. So I have the coins or I have the sales to prove it. Uh, 19,750 and 20,000 coins for Fakir last night, man. This was literally 24 hours ago when I sold this card. Uh, again, Lamer was 9.3. He's now 5.4. Hernandez was 23,000 coins. He's now 16 to 17. So I think these cards are going to bounce back up. I think it's a really, really solid investment uh, the, over these next couple of days. One thing you can also look into is SBC fodder because with an increased amount of people getting on the game for the first time with early access, 
maybe they didn't have EA access or whatever, uh, look for these SBC cards to really bounce back up and be high in demand in Tuesday and Wednesday um, before rewards on Thursday because that's going to be a perfect time for people to that are starting the game for the first time to actually get on and try to make some coins with these advanced SBCs. So definitely if you've been watching a guy like Andre Silva, somebody I watched a ton, um, or Funes Mori, or any of these non-rare cards that are really, really good for uh, the advanced SBCs, Definitely keep an eye on these dudes because I think there's going to be some potential market rise in them. Uh, nice little snipe there, man. Let's go. We'll quick, take a quick double in our coins. Hey, every coin that you can make early on in the game, you take it, right? So honestly, boys, I feel really confident about buying some cards right now. I know a lot of these price ranges got updated and a lot of you guys are like, what is going on with these, right? Ben Yedder got a boost. Uh, he was extinct before at 100k and now he's 130. That's crazy, man. Some of these boosts, like they did not upgrade these price ranges enough on some cards. Like Wynaldum is still extinct, of course. Ben Yedder is still extinct. There's another guy that's extinct. Millie Tao. Millie Tao got his price range updated from 15,000 coins to 27,500 and is still extinct. He's up on the Xbox market though for 31k, which is really interesting. I wonder if EA was doing like a test here. Like they were doing a test to say, all right, if he goes up, we're going to, we're going to make his price range higher on the Xbox. If he stays on the market, I'd be very careful with your middle town now, seeing that he's actually 31 K on the Xbox and extinct at 27 on PlayStation. I'd be kind of careful with that is does Wijnaldum have the same scenario? He does not. So he's extinct at 60 K on the Xbox and 75 on the PS4. Just continue to compare players, right? Like the reason why I think Wijnaldum is going to 100K is because De Young is 100,000 coins and Wijnaldum technically has better links than De Young does. Uh, so I would expect to see a Wijnaldum back up to that 100K range. And that's why some of these price ranges today uh, are just kind of crazy. Would I continue to buy in on a guy like Klosterman? Are they are they going to go up? I don't really think a guy like Klosterman goes up that much. Your rente is down. Who else got a price range update today that uh, would be interesting? Ziyech is 42K, so we didn't move too much. Chan is down. Uh, oh, we also had the Fabrizio Romano trading method today, boys, because Fabrizio was tweeting out all of these new, because of course it was deadline day. Fabrizio was tweeting out all of these new signings, man. We had this Thomas Partey card, who is now going to have an Arsenal version. So this card is actually going to be like extinct and going out of packs. When the news broke, he went from 23K all the way up to 31,000 coins, bro. And now he's back down to 23K uh, because of all the panic and stuff that has happened on the market, which is crazy, uh, crazy to see that. Same thing with like Teles that happened. And then some of the other investments that I was looking at today, Van de Beek is down. If you're one, if, he's still gonna go once to watch card, boys. This is still a decent investment. If you have not bought any Van de Beeks yet, I still think this is a solid investment. I'm not sure why people were selling this today, uh, but they were, I think, Maybe panic selling some investments from today just because they saw prices going down and they wanted to have their coins for whatever reason. So that's just something to think about. And again, as I mentioned with the, the SBC stuff, um, definitely take a look at some of the cheapest solutions on Footbin. Trade with some of those non-rares because that's going to be big money in the next two days as new people head onto the game and buy up meta cards once again. That also means that low rated cards, we've kind of already talked about this. That also means that low rated cards like Alex Teixeira, who's down a bunch. He was like 9K earlier, 7K, I think. Now he's down to 4.5. And some other low rated cards have really started to drop just because they're getting pummeled and pummeled and pummeled with that pack supply that continues to be coming out as people open packs with FIFA points when they open their pre-order packs and stuff like that when they're getting on foot for the first time. So that's some interesting news there. A couple touch up things just to cover at the end of the video. Um, we did get a new card design today. This was tweeted out by Footwatch. This is a really curious card design. I don't know what's going on here, but it almost looks like the same colors as the dual entitlement stuff they talked about with the PS4 and PS5, like your game progress, you know, transferring from PS4 to PS5. So that's really interesting right there. Uh, we'll see what happens with this card design, but we also got two SBCs today or one SBC. We got the Sandro tonali sbc for a uh untradeable 77 rated ones to watch live item for an 80 rated sbc so none of our sbc fodder really went up like we were talking about unfortunately because it was only an 80 rated squad that's what you needed for the sbc but that is what it is but it's a 6k sbc you might as well go and do it. it's kind of cool and then we also got a player pick vote between david silva and tiago silva which is honestly 
two big names, but honestly, one of the most dead, if you're asking me, one of the most dead options we could have had today uh, for a for a player pick vote, just because like how much hype is there for either of those two players to actually get an inform at some point during the year? Tiago Silva is not even really playing right now. David Silva, I mean, it's going to take like five informs for his card to be anywhere usable. So not a huge fan of that content today, but you know what? It was our first SBC's, first player SBC of FIFA 21. So that's something to be noted. Yeah, boys, that's kind of the video for today. All I'm saying is there's a lot of panic selling that's going on right now. If it's still happening, watch the prices this morning. Meta cards, I think, are going to bounce right back up. The higher rated, the better. The more hype, the better. The better nation, the better league. More profit there, more guaranteed rise on those cards. As new people come on the game, they got to buy those meta cards for their teams. They're getting their coins from rivals placements and they're starting their FIFA Ultimate Team journey. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.